Today we're going to look at the treatment and prevention of foul in the foot or interdigital necrobacillosis to give it its proper name, um, foot rot. How do we go about curing it, how do we treat it and how do we prevent it from happening? Watch the video, click subscribe and let's see how this goes. Everything that I'm doing today has been sort of authorised by the vet and it's them who's recommended this treatment um, although this is exactly how I knew how to do it I still have to check with the vet because it's not my place to prescribe antibiotics or any such like Okay, so let's go! So here's exactly what we're talking about and this is the cow we're going to treat If you look right up in there, it's not the best camera angle but if you look right up in there you can see that pink skin that's where the skin's completely broken open and that scum tells us that there's an infection in there causing her a great deal of pain. It'll travel all the way up there into the sheath that surrounds the deep flexor tendon and can completely inhibit mobility of that tendon which is when you get the really big swollen ankles that are caused by super foul or foul in the foot whichever. Here's another foot which was trimmed by the farmer um, about a week ago. They've been treating it with oxytetracycline and it's actually working quite well. You can see that it's underrun there, um, something which I actually removed after I treated her. Um, it's obviously a more advanced and aggressive form of file on the foot. You can see right into the interior of her foot. So let's go ahead and get this treated up. So first we're going to clean all of this area properly right up in between the digits and then we'll dry it apply the topical antibiotics and wrap it up so here we go this is just water i'm using to jet it out and make sure it's as clean as possible and trusty baby wipes They really, really do want it as clean as possible. Oh. Yeah, quick wee dry. We don't want a burner. And some trusty blue roll. We don't use cotton wool because if you use cotton wool, it's fibrous and the fibres break up and they're not as easily um, biodegraded as blue roll is. We're using Thailand, soluble Thailand today. Um, the, this is prescribed by the vet. And that is about, well, between five and 10 milligrams. So we lay it out like that in a line, um, open up the interdigital space, and starting at the front, push it all the way up into the interdigital space. Make sure it's right in there. You leave the blue roll in place and then we use just uh, some cohesive wrap. One wrap should do about three cows and this is nice and loose. So round one and a half times up through the interdigital space to the right and then down to the left. Back up, round and pull it against itself. So it's important not to um, to tie it or anything like that because this wrap is only to stay on for either 48 or 36 hours I think the vet's recommended 36 hours in this case you don't tie it because if you tie it it will constrict the blood flow to the digit which will actually inhibit the antibiotics from working because the blood flow will be reduced so the systemic antibiotics which we're just about to administer um, won't work so well um, also this guy will be getting anti-inflammatories so I was wondering how to bandage it and treat it, but well, what causes it? Well, white, uh, sorry, white line, foul in the foot is caused when there's some sort of insult that happens to the interdigital space, the skin in between the two claws on a foot. So something like, might like stand on a sharp stone or a piece of metal or something like that, but it can also and more commonly be caused from uh, wet conditions. So just like your skin in the bath, the cow's feet um, are really fragile and can crack in between the toes 
where the individual space is. This then allows the bacteria to get into the joint, into the internal locomotive mechanics of the foot, and uh, infection sets in, which creates swelling and pressure. So cows become extremely lame. You can usually spot one because it'll be standing with its foot off the ground, try to alleviate the pressure that's on those feet. When we treat it, we can treat it with topical antibiotics, such as oxytetracycline, uh, or soluble tyline or something like that but you need to speak to the vet uh, to get better clarification on that. So today we cleaned the feet really really well which is extremely important. Uh, we dried them and then we applied soluble tyline and we packed it with blue roll paper rather than cotton wool because cotton wool the fibres come off it and um, they hinder the healing of the interdigital space uh, so it doesn't heal as well and can be susceptible again to further infection. We also wrapped it. Um, now we try to get three cows to one bandage, not because I'm tight, but because you don't want to over wrap the foot. Um, if there's too much pressure on the wrap, the, the wrap itself will cause a lot of damage to the foot, which can be irreversible and obviously is extremely painful for the cow. Um, so we use about a third of a wrap per cow and we use cohesive wrap so that we don't need to tie it. If you tie it, in order to get the knot to stay, you're applying too much pressure and again, pain for the cow. So those wraps are gonna come off in three days time. The guys will assess them. If they need further treatment, they'll be cleaned and dried and sprayed with tetracycline and that'll be them good to go and they'll get a course of angiomycin, um, systemic angiomycin that is. The cows today were also treated with NSAIDs, so the swelling um, is what's causing the pain in these cows. And that swelling needs to be overcome for the infection to be overcome and to be fought by the cow's natural immunity system, as well as the antibiotics that we've given her. So Metacam or uh, Ricocam or something like that needs to be administered, again under the instruction of a vet, uh, for the cow to be able to overcome the pain and therefore overcome the um, infection. So whatever you do, don't wrap the cows too tightly. Make sure they're taken off after two to three days and make sure they are extremely clean when you apply whatever topical solution you're using. Um, if you get any questions, anything like that, please drop them below or comments, good video, bad video, whatever you want. Um, and remember to click subscribe. Okay, cheers, bye.